it might be time for NASCAR to start suspending guys for fighting after races. If you somehow missed it, after Saturday's NASCAR Truck Series race at Talladega, Matt Crafton and Nick Sanchez got into an altercation walking back to their haulers. Nick Sanchez left this altercation looking like he just got out of the octagon at the UFC. Even Dana White was like, that is pretty aggressive right there. Crafton was in street clothes and by reports walked up and sucker punched Nick Sanchez in the face. That's what Nick Sanchez has to say. There's not video of the first hit. There's only video of basically the aftermath and the scuffle that went on. And I'll put that up here in a second. But Sanchez left with his eye completely bloodied. Corey Roper, the driver of the 04 car, just bear hugging him, trying to get him out of the situation. Matt Crafton was crawling around on the ground like a geriatric with that bald spot right there, trying to pull his pants up and stand up and get out of the way. And what resulted from it is one of the worst looking fights we've seen in a long time, at least the damage done by it visually on Nick Sanchez's face. Take a look at the video real quick right here. There was some confusion about if Matt Crafton was in this fight or not, so I did freeze frame it and circled him as he's trying to crawl out of the, the scuffle right here, but take a look. So a couple of things with this. That's absolutely assault. Like, put up the Adam Schefter tweet, assault, because that's what that is. Matt Crafton assaulted Nick Sanchez. And you can call it what you want. You can just say it's boys have at it. I agree. There should be a boys have at it type of situation in NASCAR. Walk up, grab the guy by the suit, get in his face, yell, do a little shoving, totally fine, get that, everything that goes along with that. Walking up and just sucker punching somebody in the face, not a good look. That's that's bad. You should get suspended for something like that, especially when Sanchez's face looked the way that it did. He talked afterwards. He came out of the infield care center, said they glued his face back together. We'll get more to that in a second. What is Matt Crafton all upset about? Other than the fact that he's been in the truck series for 534 races and only has 15 victories, he's upset that Nick Sanchez tried to create a hole and then Crafton spun off the nose of him. You can take a look at it right here. To me, it's a racing incident. Some people are like, Sanchez absolutely dumped him. I don't think so. It's more of a racing incident. Take a look at that real quick. They're up. He's got a bit of an advantage, or does he stay down there on the bottom? Oh, oh Crafton. Matt Crafton gets into Brett Holmes. Now that you've seen what Crafton was upset about, and then the aftermath, Nick Sanchez's face, I'm not sure if the consequences meets the crime, because that was just a little bit over the top. Crafton was so pissed off after the race, or after he wrecked out, rather, that he drove to the number two's pit box, got out and yelled at the crew there, and then waited for Sanchez after the race. Completely unacceptable. You can wait after the race, for sure. You want to yell at him? Yell at him. Punching somebody in the face like that? That's unacceptable. This is supposed to be a professional sport. You can't just walk up and punch somebody at your job on Monday morning because you don't like them. And that's the same way it should happen here. The NASCAR should absolutely not tolerate this sort of aggressive behavior. Again, boys have at it. You want to rough somebody up on the track? Fine. You want to get up and grab them by the, the suit? Yell at them? Totally fine with all that. Punching somebody in the face? Kind of have to draw the line right there. And then we have to talk about Nick Sanchez because what he said isn't acceptable either, saying, I'm going to effing kill you at Homestead. You can't say that. I get it. He's 22. He's young. He's dumb. He just got punched in the face. Testosterone's going. Adrenaline's firing on all cylinders. You still can't say something like that. And he handled it afterwards when he talked to the media after he came out of the infield care center like a professional because he was asked, what happens at Homestead? And he said, I go out and win the race. That's 100% the right answer to do right there. Whoever PR and media trained him, fantastic job. His PR person, though, she should be fired because he had the, the reporter ask the question, he answered, and then she goes, we're not talking about that. You should have stepped in 30 seconds ago when the question was asked. All-time terrible job by her. And then to have like this snotty attitude about it, too. Like You, you missed it. You should have been the one there to step in and be like, we're not talking about that. And instead, he handled it like an absolute professional. Nick Sanchez gave a great answer right there. Um, he said that they glued his face back together. He, he he said he kind of understood why Crafton was upset. Still doesn't think he did anything wrong, necessarily. Uh, but, yeah, just a wild turn of events there. 
uh, from a guy like Matt Crafton, who loves to be the tough guy on the radio. He loves to talk about being a tough guy. Every time on the radio, I'm going to go down there, I'm going to beat him up, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. He never does anything uh, because, like I said, he's kind of a geriatric. He's 47 years old. He's almost 50 years old. Shouldn't be out here doing this sort of thing. And granted, the truck series does have a lot of young kids that do dumb things and wreck a lot of people. Completely understand that. Matt Crafton has been this veteran in the truck series. He's been there since 2000. Uh, he's been in the truck series longer than Nick Sanchez has been alive. So there's there's that. Uh, at the end of the day, though, you can't just walk up and punch somebody in the face because you're upset. I think Crafton just took out all of his anger on Nick Sanchez. He's mad about what happened back at Kansas and knocked him out of the playoffs. He's mad that he's probably only won 15 races in an entire career. Granted, he has three championships, which is awesome. One of those championships he won without ever winning a race, which is absurd in the playoff format. Uh, but at the end of the day, you still can't walk up and punch somebody in the face like he did. And Sanchez's face left him all bloody. Uh, it's just a bad look all around. That's not the highlights that the sport needs right now. And the truck show, the truck series was a shit show like it typically is at Talladega. Tons of cautions, tons of people just making dumb boneheaded moves, wrecking each other left and right. And then you have this that basically overshadows all of that. And, you know, Brett Moffitt won the race. I'm not sure people even realize that. Uh, he said he doesn't have anything together for next year, so who knows. But at the end of the day, you can't do what Matt Crafton did. Yell at him, push him, totally fine. Punching somebody in the face, taking them to the ground until they're bloody like that, not the look that the sport needs. So... Let me know in the comments, do you agree with what Crafton did? Should he be suspended? Personally, I think he should probably be suspended for the remainder of the year, the next two races, and then he can come back at Daytona. Um, so let me know in the comments. Follow me on Twitter, at BreakHard, uh, blog, and TikTok, at BreakHard as well.